Almost 10 years ago, I was diagnosed with panic disorder. It was, without question, one of the most difficult and challenging times of my life. Um, because I had months where I couldn't get through the day without having some sort of attack that completely left me emotionally debilitated from being able to be present in, in the life that I wanted and the life that I was building. And part of my journey in, um, I don't even want to say recovery, but part of my journey was how do I have a different relationship with it? Somebody once asked me, how did you cure it, Sarah? And I said, I didn't cure it. I just have a different relationship with it. And I'm a t-shirt fan. So a lot of times I'll get t-shirts made to represent different parts of my life. So I got a shirt that says, I heart my amygdala. I love my amygdala. This is our newest one. You can't see it, but here, I'll show you. I love my amygdala. And I'm wearing it today because I was doing a session on giving and receiving feedback. There's no quicker way to trigger our, <laughs> that's one of the fastest way to trigger our stress response brains. Um, but I just wanted to take, take this moment to everyone who is navigating anxiety, who is navigating panic disorder, who's having to work through trauma, who's having to work through OCD, um, whatever, whatever your mental health challenges are. And just like I love my amygdala, I just want to say, and I love you. And I know that the struggle isn't easy. Um, the road to recovery is exhausting. And it can be so lonely. And I just wanted to take a moment to say I see you. And I'm supporting you. And I hope that you too can learn to love your brain. Uh, even though it doesn't always work how we want. Um, in the same way that I've been able to. So, you've got this one step at a time, one moment at a time, one breath at a time. You've got this.